the first person that we have to speak is Christine Cox. She is running for Lexington County School Board District 1. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for your attention. Again, my name is Christine Cox, and I'm running for Lexington 1 School Board. I'm South Carolina native, born in Charleston, graduated from James Island High School, Johnson & Wales University there, and College of Charleston. I'm a U.S. Army veteran, and I served overseas during Desert Storm. Served on the board of directors for the League of Women Voters of South Carolina. I served as a co-leader of the Holistic Moms Network Midlands chapter, where I started their preschool co-op. I volunteered as a teacher's aide at the Pilgrim Community Preschool during the two years my children attended there. And my first child attended Lexington Elementary and Lexington Middle. My second child attended Oak Grove Elementary. I don't have any particular personal agenda for running for school board, but my purpose is to help make the schools the best they can be for the community. I intend to live here the rest of my life, and I believe that the proper role of the community is to be involved in its future, which is the schools. First item I will address is the problem of what I like to call voodoo economics practiced by the school board. Debt and spending uh, is irresponsible, but they're acting as if everything is just as it should be. The debt grows by 8% every year and it is compounding. It's allowed, but they shouldn't take on more debt before the old debt is paid off. Last year, revenues were about 165 million with over 232 million in current debt. That makes revenues 80% of the debt. Now, if I make $50,000 a year, I can't be $60,000 in debt. I have to claim bankruptcy. Now, what makes the school board different? Is it because of their government? It hasn't worked for the federal government. It won't work for them either. I'd like to see eliminate <coughs> wasteful spending eliminated. Um, annual trips to Hilton Head for the school board, each and every school mm -hmm. board member. It's paid for by the taxpayers. Why can't the members pay their own way or have a fundraiser? They sell candy bars. Bake sale. Bake sale. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Schools of the Future initiative that uh, includes giving every child an iPad for his or her use during the school year. And the Centers for Advanced Studies, which I'll get into, are unneeded building and transportation costs and are not the role of a K-12 system. I propose there be no more new big projects until the debt is paid. And the money that is saved by eliminating these projects will go towards the debt. Uh, another way to reduce the spending uh, and debt that the schools have is school choice. I support school choice, but with society the way it is today, we have and we need some public schools, <coughs> not, but not everyone needs them, and not everyone wants them. Let's allow the free market to decide which schools succeed and which ones fail. This will shrink the school system and provide the people their tax money back or don't take it from them in the first place. The second problem I will address is the creep of Agenda 21 into our lives and even in schools. Uh, take a look at this literature available on the school board's own website. Ooh, pass this around. The word global is mentioned multiple times in the school district's own literature. <clears throat> uh, the iPads mentioned at the end of one of those are mandatory. These iPads are not, <laughs> not optional. The taxpayers pay for them at approximately $479 a piece. Uh, the parents can buy a protection plan for $50, or if something happens to the iPad, be on the hook for $500, not $479, $500. Uh, the protection plan mm -hmm. provides one replacement a year. One replacement. And the next replacement is $500, coming out of the, the parent's pocket. Um, the school board also made the irresponsible decision to hire a rich Chinese company that employs low-wage Chinese workers to build our new schools and the Centers for Advanced Studies. There's a lie being spread by the school board that this Chinese company is hiring all American workers here locally. Uh, but many of those jobs are being filled by low-wage Chinese workers. Not only is our money being given to China, but our jobs as well. 
our school board has committed treason. They've turned their back on the American people and the Constitution and are now serving the will of the UN and their Agenda 21. They're stealing from us at gunpoint, sending that hard-earned money to the Communist Chinese Party. A substantial part of the reason we're in poor financial shape is because of the money being spent on Agenda 21 related activities. I agree the school district should save money wherever possible, absolutely. This is not about saving money, it's about saving our own economy. The UN in a few short years could be in direct control of our public school system at this rate. Lexington County Council's property police and homeland security grant proved that the plan is to take over inch by inch until there is total control of our lives. One day we'll wake up and we'll be in so deep we can't see a way out. The UN could be in control of not just the schools, but every aspect of our lives. And somebody has to stop it. I want to stop it. I'm the person to deal with this because as a parent in South Carolina, I've experienced public school, private school, and home school give me a well-rounded view of education. We don't need to worry about what's best for students in other states. We need to be focusing on what works best in our state. I've served for my country, so I'm not afraid to tackle the serious issues and confront head-on the trampling of our liberties. With your generous contributions, my campaign can move forward. With signage, campaign literature, and volunteers, we can reach the greatest number of people. In order to win, we have to reach a minimum of 10,000 people, which will be possible with a minimum of $2,000. Uh, thank you for your time, and are there any questions? I just, I'm sorry I was late. I'd like to add a comment to what, what you said. Please. I think people need to bear in mind that the ultimate goal of the UN Agenda 21 is the redistribution of wealth from this nation to third world uh, developing nations. That is the goal to confiscate property and to redistribute your wealth to uh, third world nations from the developed nations. That is their goal. That is the ultimate goal. Yeah. I have a twofold question. Number one is, will you be the, if elected, will you be the only conservative on the board? <laughs> and number two, what will you do for school choice and just rectify the you know, spending? Well, for um, as far as who is conservative, <laughs> I would say I'm uh, not, not the only one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you all know that. Um, and as far as uh, school choice, there are vouchers. Um, as far as the details, I, I mean, I can get more into it at another time. I'm pressed for time. I'm very sorry. Um, but I would support the um, plans that, um, that we're looking into the plans that other states have found successful and other counties have found su successful in South Carolina. The reason I ask that is, is I come from District 5, and uh, we have a similar situation. Probably worse, even. But uh, there's a split, and there's more liberals than there are what I call conservatives. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it doesn't matter what the conservatives vote for, they put down. So unless there's a, unless the, the good guys, let's call them good guys and bad guys if you want to. Yeah, well, let's get, I'd unless like the good to see guys it. have the majority, you're, you're not going to go very far. I would like to see as many conservative um, candidates elected yeah. to the school board as possible. Yes, sir, Bob. Yes, sir. Um, well, I enjoyed what you said. I agree with you and I like uh, your literature. But I always ask, <coughs> in today's world, I know you don't have time to talk about school choice. No problem there. I'm sure you would do nothing to interfere with homeschooling and uh, private Christian schools and other private schools, even though they are gaining a little on the public schools and aren't in a small way now competition, but I would hope that you would uh, be for their right to exist. Absolutely, yes, and for the people's right to choose to whether choose. they go to those um, to do other schools, charter schools, and so on. Yes, yeah, what I was going to ask you, I'm glad you were talking about communist building schools, because Dreer High School, right here in Richland County, was built by Costco, and everybody knows about Chinese Ocean Shipping Company. They were part of it. And they're big on the ports of Charleston. Yes, I was just reading about this particular Chinese-owned company who is expanding 
globally into ports and shipping and things like that. So I think it's right on the same. I'm glad you're talking about that. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? I was curious about what you said that the debt continues to go up. Is that because they're taking on new debt or they're not paying down the existing debt? It's compounding? Is it's allowed saying? by the state <coughs> that uh, the debt, in, or they're allowed to take on 8% of their budget of assessment, assessed value, assessed value uh, every year. So say that one year their assessed value is 100 million, they can take on 8% of that, and the next year, whatever that is, they can take on 8% of that, and it goes year by year, increasing by 8%, whether it's paid or not. Hmm. And Christine, um, I think I know the answer to this question. I think at one time, the right for just deciding what their budget is and how much money they need came directly from the school districts and they just tell the county the county council that and it's rubber stamped. Mm -hmm. And is that the way it's still operating? The school districts are just dictating what they want and there's nobody that oversees this process to stop the mm -hmm. outrageous spending, is there? That's correct. That's Tragic. Right. Yes. When I was on Lexington School Board 1, I, we voted six to one, six to one. I was the one where I made the mistake of not going public for what was going on. And I regret not doing that years ago. You can make a difference by going public and educating the people. I'll remember that, and I will do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you consider homeschooling any of your children? Absolutely. I, <laughs> one year I had all four of my children home for homeschooling. It was two-year-old twins, four-year-old, and 13-year-old. Uh, I brought my daughter home in eighth grade, and I homeschooled her until she graduated high school. And that was one of the most fulfilling things I could ever have done with my life. I'm closer to her than, than I could ever imagine, so, oh, absolutely. And if I could still be doing it now, I would. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.